Yo, guys, what is up? It's Teach here, coming at you again with another video over on Ark Survival Ascended. And I wanted to show you something that's pretty neat, and it's kind of been a, a thing that you could always do, but this is a updated version of how to actually clear your mutations on your dinosaurs when you're in the breeding process, but also increase the stats in the long term. So how do you do that? It's actually a pretty simple process. There's a couple of small nuances that make some small differences, but I'll go ahead and show you what they are right now. If you don't mind, smash that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm and then consider subbing the channel i'm starting to creep towards 100k and that's been my dream all along all right so anyways i have horses for my example because they are a very quick breed and they are very simple to understand and you don't have to have a saddle for them so you end up getting dinos that look like this right this one currently has mutations on it that's where you get those fancy colors and you get all the cool looking stats and the increased stats from level one right so I started off with level one horses in order to start this process. You can see right here, right? Level one. Now in the long run, as you start breeding an arc, you get higher and higher levels because one, uh, two level increase is one mutation in an individual stat. So that ends up with a creature that looks like this. You can see it right here, that's an Eku. So in order to see that, which you can actually do after you beat the Overseer, you can unlock binoculars and those U plus binoculars or tech binoculars. You can hover them over a creature and it'll tell you how many statistics and mutation that it has. You can see this one has its mutations in weight, uh, stamina, and then oxygen as well. And this one's a little bit different. You can see that. And they, over time, your creatures are going to get more and more mutated, which is awesome, right? Because increased stats means that mutations work. However, there is a point when you go into your show ancestors that you will no longer get any mutations at all. You can see out of 20, right? Out of 20. These numbers can go higher than 20, but as soon as you go higher than 20, you can no longer get new stat mutations. That means that your dinosaurs are gonna be stuck. Your creatures can no longer get better stats from breeding process. So you have to fix that. What means you have to clear the mutations or you have to reset. Now, in order to do that, what you have to do is actually pretty easy. You just have to have a wild, tame female horse. It doesn't matter the level. I would try and if I was you personally, it doesn't matter all that much, but I would try and get a lower level because the lower it is, the better off you are for the long run, but that's up to you. And uh, the point behind this is why you want a wild horse is because if you open up the inventory of a wild horse, there are, as you can see, wild ancestors. So there are zero mutations on either side of that horse, which again, pretty awesome, right? So in order to clear the mutations, what you would then do is you would take a male horse in this case and a female horse, and use them to breed now some of you are like okay what's the actual change right the reason that you're going to do it this way is actually pretty simple it's due to the fact that there is a 7.5 percent chance total to get a mutation when you have zero mutations on either side however you cut that in half when you have half of them full right so let's pretend this guy was full on mutations okay let's say that one of these sides has a uh, 20 out of 20 right from the paternal side or it's totally mutated. He can no longer contribute mutations. Again, we're pretending that he's got more than 20. This one, because it has zero mutations, can contribute a mutation probability of 3.5%. So what you're gonna end up getting is this guy is gonna dote in its mutations, but can't give bonus mutations. And this one is going to give your chance of mutation of 3.5%. So there is a small chance technically 3.5% that you'll get a mutated baby out of these two. If you were to take two horses that had more than 20 mutations on each side, they are literally never going to give you a mutation. Now, that is just how it works, right? That is, that's part of the mechanic of ARC. There is no changing that. It is something that has to be done. So you have to clear them. And this is the process that we're doing right now. You can see we're at 60% right now. And the more you go, you can see these get more and more crazy. Um, this one right here should be pretty mutated. Yeah, nine and five. So you can see mutations occur randomly. And then once we want to clear them and end up back at zero on one side, gosh, I wish this would hurry up already. You end up with a zero and 20. So it's what it's going to look like. You'll see it in a second. See how there's eight and four, right? Now what I'm waiting on is this is going to provide me a zero on the maternal side. And this is going to provide me more than that on the paternal side. So eventually this will work, right? I'm just waiting, eventually, keyword. So the maternal can provide mutations, but the paternal, again, we're pretending can't in this situation. Wow, 96%, huh? Cool, cool game, thanks. 
Um, yeah, so that's all we're waiting on. And uh, just to show you what exactly what I mean, it should be done right about now. And yep, this one is going to have the baby. We're going to go ahead and move it forward. You can see that it's been born. And we have two horses because we have both females that popped out a horse here. Now their stats are going to be very different. But again, that's not the important part. The important part is when I go inside of their statistics and I show ancestors, you can see that the paternal side, I'm just going to go ahead and show you, it donated its total eight and four mutations in order to give a mutation factor to this baby of all of its mutations. So there's 13. So it even gained a bonus mutation, right? So there are 13. You add them together, right? 13 out of 20. And then the maternal tide, maternal side has zero again. So we have literally reset the entire lineage of these creatures by putting them on the maternal side. You can see again, 13 right here and zero on the maternal side. So now this creature has a 50% chance and can give mutations. This one, however, because we're going to pretend that he has 20 and more in each side, has the stats but can't give the mutation. So what you would want to do is you want to breed your highest stat mutated creature with a level, and we're going to pretend you can get a level one, a level one female, and that is going to give you a wild percent of 3.5, and that 3.5% chance is going to be what you use in order to clear the mutations. Now, I know that's probably very confusing and it's hard to follow along, so I'm going to go ahead and kind of do like a simplified quick version real quick for those who are like, what are you even talking about, Teach? So. If you start with two horses at level one, over time, there is a 7.5% chance to get a mutation. 3.5% from the mother, 3.5% from the father. However, once you get more than 20 mutations on the maternal or paternal side, that creature can no longer donate new mutations. So in order to continue to make your dinosaurs or creatures, whatever you want to call them, better overall, you have to introduce a wild tamed or it, want, it doesn't matter if it's wild necessarily, one with zero mutations on either side. So this one, see how it got 13 from the father? I would have to pick up one that has zero mutations on either side. Now, because it is a wild, we know for sure it has zero mutations. And then it enables again when the breeding process starts that instead of having the 7% chance because we're out of mutations on the father, because once you have more than 20, nothing you can do, we have a 3.5% chance from the mother side. So that is how you clear mutations, right? Clearing mutations, and then you get back to the probability of actually getting mutations again. Because as soon as you get more than 20, literally can't get more mutations donated. So that is how to clear mutations. It Again, the sad thing is it's only a 3.5% chance, and that kind of sucks. Uh, but it is what it is. Now, one quick little fact for you, if you didn't know this, there is a certain point in time where you will gain enough mutations that are donated in order to hit negative one. Now, that number is insanely high and probably years away for a lot of people that are breeding on official servers, but you can technically hit negative one because the game can no longer count that high. So that's a really cheap little thing. It's negative one out of 20. And it's a pretty useful technique, but that's a long ways away. So hopefully this video makes sense to you. Hopefully I kind of tried to explain a very complicated uh, concept and uh, you can understand why it's important to have wild females to breed with mutated horses or any creature in that matter. And hopefully it helps you out. All right, teach. Ow.